we roll over into this next month, April, those April showers are really bringing meaning uh, to that uh, saying there. Uh, temperatures for today, we came in about seven degrees above our normal. That's going to be for our high as well as our low and nowhere near either of our record temperatures. Even with those temperatures today coming uh, about seven degrees above their averages, not our warmest temperature for this month. Uh, I do have a recap here for you. So we did hit 74 degrees back towards the middle of the month, March 14th. We also hit a low of 29 degrees and uh, that was on March 22nd. And oddly enough, last year we did the same number there and you'll see we came in at to just over three and a half inches that following day with our temperature falling to about 29 degrees and not much snow for this month. We did see a trace back in the second week. Uh, rainfall amounts, you'll see that we really did our thing uh, for this month. In fact, we've managed to make it there to the fourth, the rainiest March on record with just over nine inches. And as you heard me telling Katie, we did double of what we usually do for the month of March. That's not the case for our snowfall. In fact, for this year, March alone, we've only seen a trace, but that's not saying too much, especially when we look at where we have been the last uh, five years previous uh, to this year uh, for the month of March. We did see about a half an inch back in 2022, but even that's not a lot just for uh, packing in one month. Our high pressure system sitting off to the north and west of us really suppressed all of that moisture getting through today. So it did allow us to have a beautiful Easter Sunday here across uh, the tri-state region. But as we look out to the west of us, we do have another system and the high pressure won't be able to protect us from this one. This system will be moving into our region as early as tomorrow or for some of us during the overnight hours. So right before that daybreak happens. But again, we are expecting to see some light to moderate showers pouring in tomorrow. As for tonight, clouds building in. Yes, a chance to possibly see some showers and our temperatures will be in the low to upper 40s. Now tomorrow, again, plan to have those umbrellas ready getting out the door because we are not just talking a wet morning commute, but also the possibility of a wet evening commute. Temperatures falling off a good 10 degrees from what we've seen today. So we're leaving behind the 60s, saying hello to the 50s at least for tomorrow. Heading into Tuesday, temperatures dropping even low, but we'll also have uh, wet showers out there or wet conditions that will be a lot uh, steadier than what we see moving into tomorrow. So plan again for not just a wet Monday, a wet Tuesday, but also a wet Wednesday. We're expecting the showers to linger into portions of Thursday as well. Wednesday does not just come with rain. It also comes with some pretty uh, gusty conditions moving at about 50 miles per hour across some of the area. Those leftover showers should have cleared up by the time we make it to the second half of uh, Thursday and by Friday we will be drying out, but it is going to be quite blustery out there next weekend. Really looking like a treat. We're getting milder, but also we will see more in terms of sunshine.